tonight is uh, Moroni chapter 1. Now I, Moroni, after having made an end of abridging the account of the people of Jared, I had supposed not to have written more, but I have not as yet perished, and I make not myself known to the Lamanites, lest they should destroy me. For behold, their wars are exceedingly fierce among themselves, and because of their hatred they put to death every Nephite that will not deny the Christ. And I, Moroni, will not deny the Christ. Wherefore, I wander whithersoever I can for the safety of mine own life. Wherefore, I write a few more things, contrary to that which I had supposed, for I supposed not to have written any more, but I write a few more things, that perhaps they may be of worth unto my brethren, the Lamanites, in some future day, according to the will of the Lord. Okay, so the writer here is Moroni, okay, the son of Mormon. And uh, as you can see, it's, it's kind of come down to, to him at this point. Right now, as you see right at the beginning, it says, I, Moroni, have made an end of abridging the account of the people of Jared. And looking at the way the book is laid out, right, that uh, what we hold is an abridgment of many records. Right? And, and those many records are on, <laughs> on the paper that didn't make it. <laughs> <laughs> That's okay. All right. See, so we, we, we had done this towards the beginning. All right, and so we, we had the, uh, the large plates of, of Nephi. We have some small plates around somewhere, They're right there. See, we have 24 gold plates somewhere around the middle, I think. Okay, then down here are the brass plates. All right, so we have lots of plates. Okay, and, uh, now, this is a way of, of knowing what is what, right? The beginning part of the, the Book of Mormon, which was from 1st Nephi through, through Omni, came from the small plates. The, from Mosiah through Mormon came from the large plates. Okay, so, the, to, but now, the, again, remember, this is Mormon and then Moroni abridging what was on there. Okay, now the, the 24 gold plates is the Book of Ether. Oh, Okay, the, the, the information that they brought back from Laban is the brass plates, which is in the, the lower, this is my right, I guess the lower. Oh, right, right, right. 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 Those, those, those are the brass plates, okay? Brass plates are the ones that they went back for, and then they, they got them from Laban. And that, that had information from the Bible and uh, different prophecies and the different prophets' writings and the, part of the, some stuff in the book of Genesis and so forth, okay? So the, these are all the things that they had carried with them and, and recorded on. Over the years, the, the the gold plates they discovered, right, and uh, about halfway through, and so that when they went through what was on there, that they turned that into the Book of Ether. Okay, so so, that, so that's what Mormon and now Moroni have been doing is kind of summarizing all this information because it was lots and lots of plates, so it probably would have been you know thousands and thousands of pages if it was just going to be transcribed, but it wasn't. They they summarized it or abridged it, as we say, right. So the the abridgment of the of the records is the, the, the Book of Mormon, right? So, they, so from the, the beginning of the story in, in Nephi all the way up to Mormon, that was their story. And so then having reached that point in the story where everybody was dead, Moroni just went ahead and worked on the Book of Ether, right? Or the record of Jared, as he said, and that's why it's slotted in where it is. So it's almost like a, an add-on or an appendix, right? That just kind of slips right in there at the, at the end of the story. Okay, and now as far as uh, Moroni was concerned, when he was doing that, he thought that was going to be the end of, end of the book, right? Because the story was pretty much over. Right? And, uh, and so he said, well, I'll just put this in the back of the book, and then, and then I'm, I'm done. And, as you can see here, it says, uh, okay, he says he's finished abridging the, the account of people of Jared, right? He says, now I suppose to not have written more, right? That I thought that was going to be it, all right? He says, but, what you said, but, but I've, I've not yet perished, right? I'm still alive. So therefore, I can keep uh, keep going a little bit, but also it, uh, you know, the, there was only so much room on the, the the place he was working on, right? There was no more material or anything to make any more plates. So pretty much, he was just filling the the available space. And so he had done the, the Book of Ether, and uh, as people with the calculations say, it was probably maybe one one side of one, one plate left, right? So it was just enough to put. A little bit more, and so there was room left, and so that's going to be what's the book of Moroni, right? He's going to put just some additional information, fill the, the the place in their entirety. He's still alive, so he can share some additional information with us, and that's what he's going to do in the book of, of Moroni. All 
All right now, you can see that uh, you know, he's giving the scene a little bit. All right, it says he himself is in is in hiding, which uh, uh, kind of reminds you of, of who I read recently that uh, that Ether was hiding in the cave the whole time. Remember, he would come out he would come out at night and just check out what was going on, and then go back to the cave and write write some more of the story. All right, so that's almost the same thing here. It says when he's in hiding. But, but now I, I noticed something in, in here, right, in, in the second verse, it says that uh, the, you know, he's hiding the Lamanites because they would put to death every Nephite. That would not deny Christ. Right, which is, yeah, that, that's actually a little add-on, right? I, I always just remembered that, that they would kill any Nephites, therefore he was in hiding. But it would make it sound like that there may have been an option if, if there were any Nephites still alive who were willing to deny Christ, that they would have been spared. Like, it, it doesn't say that. So, anyway, regardless, as you can see in 3, it says, Moroni says, see, I'm, I'm not going to deny Christ, so therefore I, I can't be out and about because they're going to kill me because I'm, I'm not going to deny Christ. So that's why he says I'm, I'm hiding for the safety of, of my own life, right? And so, and then, and then finally in, in 4, he's saying, saying, so I'm going to write a little bit more while I'm still alive. And he's writing it, as you see, it says for the, the future people, but mainly you know, for the future people of the Lamanites, right? Because... That's what's left now. So it's not anticipated that the, anybody else is going to survive, so it's going to be the Lamanite's descendants, which is who's still around today. All right, so he said, I'm going to write a little bit more, so this way in the future when they read this writing, this will benefit them also. And as you'll see, when we read the rest of the Quran, that's kind of what it is, just information that would benefit people in their future, which would include the future Lamanite people and, and us as well, because right? we make use of the information that's in this book too. So that's, that's kind of your introductory chapter, right? the introduction to the book of, of Moroni.